Welcome back to OCRMEI Further Mathematics B. Today we're doing chapter 8.3 Integration by Hyperbolic Substitution. For hyperbolic substitution, it is essentially the same as trigonometric substitution, uh, except we are using the differential of hyperbolics rather than the trigonom uh, tr trigonometries. Uh, in all the all of these substitutions, we're talking about the inverse uh, hyperbolics and trigonometric functions uh, because the straight up just trigonometric and hyperbolics are fair, fairly easy to differentiate and integrate. So let's have a look. So let's first take a look at this example question. Uh, from judging from the looks, it looks like it's not something that we can use the natural log rule to solve. So let's try to factorize the bottom and maybe use um, partial fraction or something. Uh, that's the normal typical approach. However, you'd realize that this bottom fraction cannot actually be factorized. Instead, it needs to be um, you uh, it needs to use the complete the square method so we are left with negative 1 on x plus 2 all squared uh, take 1 so we have this expression and for this negative, we can either leave it in, or we can substitute into the equation. So if we did substitute into the equation, we're left with integral of 1 on 1 take x plus 2 all squared dx. And turns out that this expression correlates to the 1 on 1 take x squared expression of uh, arctanch. So in order to integrate this, we can substitute uh, u as x plus 2. And so we have an integral of 1, 1 take u squared du is equal to dx uh, so we have just du which will give us uh, arctanch of u plus the constant c and that u according to this is x plus 2 so we have arctanch of x plus 2 plus c. So that's relatively straightforward. Uh, the most difficult part is to realize that this can be turned into the hyperbolics expression. Uh, most people would try to do it with a normal trick which uh, you're missing out the square root so that wouldn't work. Uh, yeah, basically that's that's all for this hyperbolic substitution. It's uh, very straightforward. For Akkosh and Akshai, it might be a bit more tricky because you have the natural log, but that aside, it's not that bad. Also, uh, one thing to note, make sure you have your domain set, so x mod is Actually, the x plus 2, or mod, has to be less than 1. Uh, so, let's write it here. x plus 2, or mod, has to be less than 1, by definition. So, whichever this u is, has to be less than 1. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, in order for it to be less than 1, uh, let's see. Uh, 
uh, for it to be less than one you need to take two from the left and take two from the right give us oops that's not equal uh, the mod x has to be less than one so that would be something that you need to write down and yeah basically that's it and I guess we'll move on to the tip section once again for any hyperbolics make sure you state your domain that is acceptable and also check that you have the plus c as uh, integration requires your plus c so for the questions I have two for you to do today uh, evaluate the following two integrals and as usual I'll give you five seconds before I show you the answer so the answer in five four three two one the solutions are shown right here uh, so the first one is an arc shine and the second one is an arc tanch uh, I deliberately made it a bit confusing for the first one because you need to first of all um, uh, complete the square then you need to take out the factor of 4 and after the square root turns into a uh, x plus 1 on 2 so it's a bit less obvious but it's still doable surely it should be manageable uh, yeah basically that's it for this video and this also wraps up this chapter of hyperbolics thank you very much for watching if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to help you as much as i could for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you on my next one